Hare Krishna. Question from Panchapanda Prabhu. If we can't access Chandraloka because we don't have the karmic qualifications, then how are we able to see the moon? How, what is the connection and difference between Chandraloka and the moon? Answer. In Jyotish Shastra it is described that uh, we are given access to the vision of those things which are auspicious for us. So within the universe you know, there is much that is described in the Vedic cosmology. For example there is Mount Meru. Now relatively speaking from the distance point of view Mount Meru is much closer than many of the other, as the other things in the universe which are much further away. But we are not able to see that. But we are able to see Surya, we are able to see Chandra. Why is that? Because these are important for us in two ways. One is that just seeing them is pious. It brings Punya. And secondly, their locations, knowing their locations is vitally important for us to determine muhurtas, to determine good and bad times and then accordingly do religious functions by which we will be able to advance in uh, piety and in spirituality. So the point is that for advancing in piety and spirituality we don't need to physically transfer ourselves to Chandraloka. We can know its position, we can know the position of the moon and we can know, uh, we can behold it especially on special days like uh, some sacred Purnimas and others and that is purifying. So we have to understand that within the universal hierarchy we are given access to those things which are important for our purposes. Uh, now our purposes means not the purposes that we determine that are my purposes but for the purpose of our existence as is determined within the universal order. So a clerk may be in a while working on a big computer may be given limited access to a particular amount of data. So we are given access to moon in terms of seeing because that purifies and that helps us to get determined time for purifying activities. But we don't need to go to Chandraloka that's why we are not given that access. And as far as what is the connection between moon and Chandraloka that is concerned, in general, the higher levels of existence are not comprehensible precisely by our uh, finite vision. So the example of a computer with multiple levels of access uh, suggests that actually the computer is one and same thing but the access is different. Whereas the other example of a map and uh, uh, a city and a map indicate a city and map are two different things. However, uh, you know, what is the exact reality? We have to understand that uh, we can't understand completely because our capacities are limited. So generally whenever any examples are given, so whatever I discuss, I am discussing over here is based on uh, Dr. Richard L. Thompson, Sadaput Prabhu, who is one of the most prominent scientist disciples of Srila Prabhupada. He has explained in a book called Vedic Cosmography. And there itself he describes that the, in the Vedic understanding, the purpose of the study of the cosmos is not comprehension. The purpose of the study of the cosmos is transformation. What is the transformation? It's, he doesn't use these words, but I'm paraphrasing the attitude that is underlying. Comprehension means it's like the idea of con I understand and I conquer. Now I have understood everything. But the transformation is that we understand how tiny we are. Generally in our small worlds we think I am very great. But when you study the vastness of the universe and its complexity then the result is transformation. We understand I am so small, I am so tiny. And that change from an attitude of uh, ideas of one's own greatness to humility that is very conducive for spirituality uh, for spiritual advancement so therefore uh, this is these examples which we give are like shakha chandranyaya one branch is here one branch is here the moon is in between but actually the moon is not in between the moon appears to be in between the moon is far away so is it is the are chandraloka and moon exactly the same or are chandraloka and moon radically different
No, there is some sameness and there is some difference also. And the exact nature of that connection and that uh, difference, we can't perceive because of our limited access, because based on our finite intelligence. But what we understand is that we have been given enough understanding so that we can pursue the ultimate purpose of life, that is spiritual advancement and ultimately returning back to Krishna. Whether we understand what is the relation between Chandra Loka and Moon, that is not as important as whether we understand the relationship between us and Krishna. If we understand that relationship, then we can become purified and we can attain the supreme happiness of life, that is the ultimate purpose. Thank you. Hare Krishna.